Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Final Fantasy XIII. Feels like it's been a bit. And of course, uh, the ruler of the moon is only interested in Holy Grail Wars and thus departs uh, when we do anything that's not a Holy Grail <laughs> I kid, I kid. But thanks for hanging out, Petey. I hope to see you again soon. Alright, last we left this world, we were in the middle of a city invasion, or at least trying to prevent the destruction of our home city that we're sort of tasked with destroying. It's a weird plot, but that's Final Fantasy for you. Right, right, we're invading the Sanctum, uh, the last bastion of all these people, and the place they hope to survive this invasion because we need to kill the bad guy, who is of course at the center of the city that's under siege that we're trying to say yeah that eh, things aren't working quite well for us aren't exactly working out well for us here oh that's uh for Vanille Vanille ha I remembered her name this time my feet sound unnaturally loud in my ears I'm gonna turn that volume down a bit Oh, it's still pretty loud. Those are incredibly loud footsteps. Imagine a game having audio and it not exploding. So this is the heart of Cocoon. It's incredible. Whoa. That's where Eden sits, controlling all of the other Cocoon Thalci. It's also where we'll find Orphan, the battery that keeps Eden running. So it's a building within a building. So what's the plan? Your usual plan. Charge in through the front door, what else? <laughs> right, the front... Hey, hey! What are you... Where are you going? <laughs> what is... <laughs> I guess it had been five minutes since we split the party. May as well split up again. Uh, never mind, there's like 50 dudes. I think we're gonna start in synergy. Yep, definitely starting in synergy so we're fighting this bag. I hope that's our backup. Well, if it is, I don't think our backup is happy to see us. Is this seriously what we're fighting? One of those guys and one of the other guys? Shit, I need to know what we're fighting. Okay, it's just one of each of them. Can we move out of the way? Uh, we want to go this way, but I kind of want to see what's past that. Uh, I kind of want to explore. That looks like a dead end. Nope, nope, nope. We're going this way. Fuck it. We're running right into this fight. Yep. Right into defensive. We gonna get roasted here. Oh, don't tell me you don't know what this thing does. I was gonna have a look around, but I'm kind of nervous about being forced into one of these fights while I'm trying to sightsee. Just getting started. Hope is still trying to remember how to cast uh, physical defense up. I swear he forgets every time. Just getting started. <laughs> Oh, this guy's actually not debuffing me in. Usually this guy's debuffing me in. Alright. Thanks. So, ho Fang was actually able to land some uh, debuffs this time. Good shit. Oh, it looks like we only got elemental down. What's your guys' opinion on like people doing this kind of architecture? It seems it seems kind of cool in game, but in real life, I feel like a building within a building with an internal garden is kind of silly when you're on like if you're already on the flo a floating city. The building within a building thing is kind of silly. If you can already have like if you can already have luscious gardens outside. Having like this high a roof on that too, like 
I don't know. I like the architecture. Don't, like, don't get me wrong. I like it. It just feels pretty impractical whenever I think about it. Like, how many how many stories is this ceiling? How much wasted resources could go if you're in like? Remember, this city is like literally, literally exiling and executing its own citizens due to lack of resources. And then they have like this building kicking around. Hopefully we can do half of this guy's health in one break. I'd hate to have to do it in two. You still need to catch up to here. Uh, it's a Final Fantasy game. The plot gets more convoluted as you prog as you progress. Our buffs are expiring, gonna swap specs again. Only finished the first episode? Oh no worries, man. All in due time, all in due time. Okay, as my buffs expire, I'm having a... Uh, I'm intending to have Hope replace them. Hopefully he actually does it. Seriously, getting him to cast buffs as they expire is like pulling teeth sometimes. He just hates doing it. Okay, any el anything else expiring? Okay, whatever. We're going into back into diversity mode. Your government mandated diversity trick. The only one who doesn't have attack buffs is my main DPS. That's awkward. That's awkward. Hope buffed his own attack, but didn't buff Lightning's attack. Oh well. Only so much you can do. Like, unless you want to be, unless you want to micromanage super hard and change your main character to be Hope every time you want to fight a boss, and then Lightning every time you need to DPS. I don't really feel like it's worth it. Like, it's more important that we actually get through most of the fights than it is. Uh, we have Hope always get the right buffs, because there are way more AoE fights where the auto the auto fight just does single target attacks when you want to do AoEs than there are fights where I need Hope to be giving specific buffs out. Like, even here, we're doing okay, we're getting through the fight. It's not like it's the end of the fight, but like, losing to random ass trash map mobs is the worst. Like, if you lose to random trash mobs, you just feel like a moron. You're like, oh, these low-tier trash mobs killed me. Because I didn't AoE, because the AI always likes to do single target for some reason. Because I don't remember how bad these guys are. It's been a little bit. I... We might be able to kill them in two turns. This shit might not be worth it, though. It's not going to be worth it if anyone dies. These guys actually have pretty high single target first, yeah. That's pretty gross. Hope could reasonably die here. But if he just, yeah, if he just spams Kira Kiraja, that's fine. He's like our best- no, he's dead. I think we still do okay here. He only has one attack return, right? Oh no, Fang's actually down. Never mind. I need to heal myself. Never mind.
I think I actually just died here. Shit, really? That guy did out. That guy does more damage than you can output in healing. I didn't know that. Just one of them outputs more damage than you can do in healing. That's nasty. My bad. Alright, so we need to go like Synergist right away so we don't die to physical damage. Kinda awkward. But yeah, these guys do hit pretty hard. Alright. Yeah, random ass soldier killed me. Elite mob struggles to do so. Kinda awkward, isn't it? Oh man, that that interrupt is actually brutal. If I could get some buffs, like Hope today, please. I'm dead? Seriously? Hope didn't cast a single defensive buff the whole time. We died because we couldn't get a single defensive up the whole fight. <laughs> oh my god, Hope, please. Hey, what what is this have you guys re have you guys seen the new stream title by the way? I I foretold this. Well in advance. My luck stat today. Yeah. Not the best. He's giving out haste first, which is sometimes okay, but when I want like 50% defensive up, it's not great. Oh, defense, now. He's dead now, really? Don't give up. He, so he hastes. Come on, bro. Come on. Literally, like, one defense up so we can not die. One defense up so we can not die. Come on. There's the defense up. We're living. Hey. There we go. Everyone's fine. We'll swap to a healing setup. You're done on JP. You could go to NA or play other gacha games. JP. These guys don't actually have that much health. That's why I went like really aggressive because their damage output's really high, but if you can knock it down early, it's actually not too bad. Like there, we nuked them in like two turns once we had attack- of course we had attack buffs, right? But it could have been so easy. I don't know. I personally like NA because I can actually read the text. These guys actually hit really hard. Don't worry. Thanks. Thank you. Shit. Shit! These guys. These guys hitting hard too. They no. they buffed the damage of a lot of the enemies in this area. Previously, we were rolling these guys just by going aggressive and throwing attack spells. But these packs are actually destroying us, so uh, looks like looks like they scaled up the enemies. Probably during the cutscene. Oh shit! I actually want medic. That's bad. That's annoying. I hate, I hate wasting turns like that. Okay, Fang should be buff stripping them really hard. Ah oh, shit. Assuming she gets a turn. Assuming I get another turn. Assuming I get another turn. There we go. We should be okay now. Most of their attacks are getting. Most of their buffs should get stripped off. 
And as our buffs go up, we should go better. Oh, rip. Alright. At least we can cancel our turn and refund most of the energy. <laughs> she got one shot while she was getting up. Oh, that sucks. I didn't even know you could do that. Okay. Alright, most of the buffs are up now. I'm gonna go on the offense. We can only play defense for so long before it starts really hurting us. Like, at, at some point you actually have to kill these guys, right? Uh, oh, get some healing going. And like, the minute Fang uppercuts this guy, we have like one guy out of the fray, we're in much a much better situation. There we go. Since we have the defense, should have grinded more? Yeah, I haven't actually- you know Jacob, I haven't actually grinded in this game at all. We did a couple quests, but other than that we've been progressing pretty linearly. You watched the whole Grand Order of JP Street and like that's awesome. Oh, you watched all, both hours of it. Two whole hours of suffering for for the knowledge a costume dress was coming for a servant you may not even have. Thank you. That sounds genuinely awful, I'm not gonna lie. Two whole hours of that is like almost insulting to fucking everybody. But on the other hand, that's in Japan and for Japanese people. And I swear to God, like, unlike in North America or even Europe, where like most people playing free to play games are not free to play, or are, are, sorry, are free to plays, like they actually don't spend money. I actually won, yeah. I swear, like, in Asia, it's like the opposite. It's like 90% of people who play gacha games actually wail super hard. And like 10% of people don't spend money. So, you know, maybe they made the, maybe they made the far more reasonable enough that 90% of players on JP actually have, uh, actually have it. Actually have an Amakusa Shiro because they all wail, like, I don't know. And this this comp is doing far less damage, so assuming that shit we actually died. I was gonna say assuming that we're not just dying, we should be okay. And then we instantly died. Wow, okay, never mind. Oh yeah. I screwed up a little bit. I thought that we were gonna be okay to do like a more aggressive setup there, but we actually need to turtle super hard through that fight too. Okay. Oh good. Uh hold up. I'm gonna change paradigms so we don't screw this up all the time. Uh we're just gonna start in this. We're gonna start in this. We're not gonna waste time. A bigger stream. They spent two hours on that, though. How could it get any bigger? I'm actually okay with just physical defense up, by the way. Oh, Hope did a good thing here. Imagine four hours of nothing special. 
Imagine four hours for them to announce a new servant. That that you can only get with paid Saint Courts. Sorry, forgot that part. I mean, why not? They already did two hours for a skin. Four, ju four just seems like the natural progression from there in terms of useless information. They could announce the announcement of uh, Camelot, Lost Belt 6. That's another thing they could do. Four hours to say, we're gonna have Lost Belt 6. And then they of course release the next Lost Belt and it's Lost Belt 5.75. Lock, okay, here's what I'm betting. They announced Lost Belt 6 for a second time. Uh, we had another skin. And uh, then two weeks later, Lost Belt 5.75 drops. And they just keep appending Lost Belt decimal places without ever adding Lost Belt 6 to the game. And the game goes on forever. The end. Or should I say, uh, okay. it goes on and on. What are they up to? Wait, what? A friendly reminder, we're running on borrowed time. They got insta seized? What the shit? I didn't even know that could happen. Like simultaneously, six people? I guess maybe they all failed their collective task? They all collectively failed their only task, which is like to stop us from getting into the city or something? Power ring. Hold up. That might actually be a stat up. On a something. Power glove. Strength by 150. We're like pretty heavily into magic right now, so that's not amazing for her. On the other hand. Power glove. Some streamers already got their streams taken down for showing the stream stuff. After the actual stream. Yeah, they've been doing that lately. They did that with the last stream too, right? Uh, DMCAing or uh, otherwise taking that or uh, call taking them down on Twitch while they were streaming. I remember that happened because someone was literally doing nothing but translating the stream live and they got shut down. Which is probably the biggest dick move ever. Can you imagine? Someone is literally doing nothing but translating it so your stream can reach a bigger audience that otherwise couldn't understand it and you take them down for for doing something that. Like, what a fucking dick move. Mm -hmm. Let's see how hard these guys are. That awkward moment when your team's set up to not deal damage and you get a preemptive strike. Uh, they don't have that much health. I need to identify him real quick so the AI will actually auto-attack with the right abilities. Not bad. They have a decent chunk of health. They haven't attacked yet though. Oh, Aurora. Okay. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, they don't actually have that much health. If we went full offense on this, we'd be fine. I was worried they'd like one-shot us though after the last few fights. Yeah, even that's not too bad. Yeah, the love trouble and key to shine. Yeah. Is 
since it gives you control, I should just start grinding. Thanks. But I haven't needed to grind. It's just made some of the fights are actually insanely easy. Other ones are pretty hard. Like, that was, like, double deep the whole time. Your friend grinded in Tales of Viserys and said the game was e too easy? Yeah. You gotta figure out when it's appropriate to grind. I haven't really found a wall I couldn't climb over. Like, there were a couple fights that were kind of hard, but for the most part, like, there isn't too much grinding to be done because we have almost everything unlocked already. Like, we got... A little bit left here. We have every ability, and we have max level on every on our three main rolls. Like we literally just have stats to buy. Uh, this one's the one below it. We can buy a bit more damage, but the damage scaling is pretty low right now. Strength. We mostly scale off of magic too, so non-magic isn't super useful. Yeah, the struggle is good sometimes. The struggle is good sometimes. I'm missing something on this character. What am I missing? Oh, it's one of the extra abilities that we don't care about. Never mind. Stop gun? Oh, it might not be too bad. Almost got it. Yeah, we don't actually have too much XP to spend right now. And our options are limited. Outside these three trees, there's actually not a lot you can buy. As these ones are really miniature trees. That said, we could like buy into them in a big way, but they give really low stat bonuses. See. There's still magic to buy in there. I guess we would buy into Ravager, but we kind of want his last synergy. We're just about done on synergies too. But he has everything for synergist, everything for medic. We can buy into this. There we go. Yeah, the side tree is the only push when you're done with the main trees. And like, we still got space to go on the main trees. In fact, we usually have nothing left to do on the main trees when they expand the Crystario. This is the first time we haven't had uh, the previous level full on our main spec. Alright. I'm actually gonna go bully here. Give me some buffs to start out with. That's a lot of nasty debuffs. Thank you. 
Oh, any chance you could like put some buffs on us? Like before someone dies, put a defense buff on them or something. Price man, come on. People literally dying here. It's like the starving kids in Africa thing, come on. Don't throw away all the good buffs just because you have a lot of buffs. Alright, we should be able to destroy these guys pretty quickly. Especially this guy because he has like a million debuffs on him. As long as the debuffs don't expire, we do a billion damage. Good stuff. Good stuff. Wait. We didn't even put any points into any of the useful. We got like 20 out of a thousand attack and we did that much damage. It's really just like how the fight goes that determines whether or not we do a ton of damage or not. Shit, is that one pack? Oh my god, that's disgusting. That's disgusting if that's one pack. Oh man. Yeah, it is. It's one pack. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and juggle the the, the spinny boy, but it's gonna go. It could go pretty badly. Spinny boy, by the way, is like horrendously dangerous and can one shot the whole team. So, pretty dangerous. If we're not juggling him to death, we're in a lot of trouble. Turn the tide. Oh, that actually went better than expected. These guys even start at half health, that's not too bad. I kind of wish I could pick what buffs Hope was giving out. The attack buffs would be really good right about now. If I could have him just give out attack buffs instead of anything else, that would be really good. Or like specify defense and what defense there is. It's like, times like this where you kind of want to be able to swap to, uh, swap to Hope off of your DPS. Please put attack buff up, no? Okay. I tried. He insisted on triple veil. Thankfully, thankfully one of our allies wasn't stupid and put every debuff under the sun on him. Unfortunately, Fang's ability to affect people with like a million debuffs like that is really dependent on their debuff resistance, which a lot of enemies seem to have complete immunity to, so some fights like that, you can completely lock them down and make them take a billion damage with debuffs. Other times, it's like completely useless. Kind of a weird choice to have as like a core class, a debuffer class, and then make people immune to most debuffs. But it is what it is. Alright. Take down the enemy. If we can get, like, a bunch of buffs, I'd like haste specifically. Just haste for the 30% attack or whatever it is. It's the thing that makes your bar regen stupid fast. Okay. If we can get that on most people, that'd be good. Unlike in an actual turn-based game, this 
this one's haste just means you take more turns instead of being like instead of being like oh you're you're first in turn order it's like no 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 you you take like 50 percent more turns they go with like the the speed strat instead of the uh instead of like the initiative style combat yeah thanks appreciate it That's Anathema's debuff, so it's gonna. That's, I'm the one who got debuffed. Rip. Ah, is that classic Final Fantasy haste? All right. That's cool. Okay, I can't be the only one who thinks it's weird that we're getting. Mob packs of a single mob after being introduced to the mob when it comes in pairs That's kind of weird like you'd expect them to never go below what they introduce them at because the first time you fight Someone is supposed to be like the easiest so you can get used to them Wouldn't it be better designed to have put both those mobs in a single pack? Ah, whatever anyway, this looks It's this game, so it's hard to tell. This looks like a plane, but it could also be a fucking boss. Who knows? It's like, let's play a game. Boss or plane? Hmm. Looks like no one was spared. Yep, boss. Glad we have synergist open, because man, fighting bosses without opening synergist is a huge pain. Okay, what is this? Uh, yep. Oh, it's proud glad. Thanks. This is an annoying ass boss. Yeah. The rules for the boss. Last time I fought it, where if you break, if you like break it, it instantly fucks you over. Can I get magic defense? Like, I want magic defense. Nothing else, please. You still can't get. You still can't get Genshin to work. Oh man, that's rough. If you're if you're someone who wants to play Genshin, at least, yeah, that's rough. I'm sorry, the game's not working out for you. I hope it gets working for you soon. Reinst full reinstalls are a huge pain. Okay, I want all my buffs up because this boss fucks you if you don't have. Uh... Okay. Let's see. Right, go. If you break bar this boss, he fucks you. It's really annoying. Oh my god. Seriously. He has this little resistance now. It's like most enemies you want to break bar them so they take even more damage. This guy, he actually doesn't want to be break, break barred. Oh my god, this is going to take forever. Shit, we actually have to stop our combo. If you break, we're, we're fucked. I have to literally stand here and wait for him to do something. He's immune to all buff. He's immune to literally every single debuff in the game. Cool. Cool. Annihilation mode, alright. He just swapped to his other stage, okay. Oh, that was not what I wanted. I wanted... I wanted shooty. I wanted diversity mode, which we're in, I guess. Cool. This boss seems like it's gonna take forever because we can't apply debuffs to it, and it instantly kills you if you if you uh, break its bar. It's kind of annoying. The first time I fought it, we died like six or seven times to it because I couldn't figure out the stupid gimmick. 
Because not dealing damage is a really weird gimmick. Oh shit, oh shit. I didn't think I'd make it on that combo. Wait, that didn't one-shot us? What? It's literally the same boss. Crab Clash, that was the same name. Is it charging its laser to one-shot us or something? I'm really confused now. This guy like completely fucked us the minute he... He like transformed, and I shit you not, he one-shot us through every single buff in the game. And I was like completely confused what the heck I was supposed to do to fight him. But Neon Blaster isn't doing like a billion more damage like I would expect it to. It's just doing regular damage, actually. Alright. Well, we'll just spam damage on it while we have the chance. Like, if he's not gonna deal a million damage to us, I guess we can, in fact, break him. Okay. I'll get ult- oh. I'm in for that. Uh, some of our, bu our buffs are running here, but that's fine. We'll probably break him in a second. Probably can't juggle him here because he's a flyer. Can't typically juggle flyers. We probably got like three turns before we even care about the damage output he's doing though. If he transforms, he'll be a problem, though, so we gotta watch for that. If he transforms, he might actually chunk us for a bit. Hey, this guy's got... This guy's been nerfed from, like, disgusting when he's broken to being, like, a joke. What is this damage output? I'm gonna change to Ravager just to heal myself. Oh, he does get limiters deactivated. Alright. Okay, so Retaliatory Strike is the ability he has uh, when he does, in fact, get broken. So this guy does have the same mechanic. It just takes a minute to enable instead of instantaneously. Okay, that's fine. So we do, in fact, have to never get past 150% on this guy. And by the way, the 100% is the damage taken, which is why you want to build it up. Because when it overgages, it just keeps going up, right? That's super annoying. That boss is really tanky. Not particularly looking forward to balancing this for a long time. Ah, uh, hold up. Can I... I want to exit the fight and change my paradigms. One second. Intentionally restarting. I want to change my paradigms to something else. I'm going to run double Ravager in... Or, I'm going to run, um... Either Double Ravager or Double Commando. I'm thinking Double Ravager makes more sense because Ravager decays. So, what's a team we aren't using much anymore? Solidarity. If we run Double, if we run Double Ravager, it'll decay like crazy, and we'll be able to just throw attacks at it all day. Oh wait. All oh, right, she can't do Ravager. Never mind. Um. Okay, we'll do like uh, we'll do double commando which will give us a ton of more time to build up that's fine double commando medic I guess that works uh, as I like fang more than I like everyone else. I don't really want to run someone other than fang because I like her I'm, I'm, I, I mean it'd make more sense to run a dedicated DPS instead but I'm not gonna change my whole team for that we're just gonna change paradigms so Commando Commando Medic will be our combat setup. Let's give that a shot. That should be slightly easier to not over gauge because Commando has terrible gauge generation. So we should be able to DPS for as long as we want basically. Thanks. Like, we'll eventually have to stop, but we won't be stopping, like, every three turns. It'll be, like, every ten turns. Oh, 
Oh, so it's magic resist for me on Blaster. That's fair. And now we just press X. Now we just repeatedly press X until either we get 150, 130 ish, or um, or our buffs run out. Yeah. Once you figure out the overcharge gimmick, I feel like this boss is considerably less entertaining. As he's mostly a damage sponge, without like a lot of real dangerous modes. Like the previous boss, he had stages where he dealt a shit ton of damage, stages where he dealt less damage, and you could kind of like rotate in between them and try to line them up the low damage stage with the stage with him being broken so you can do extra damage. This guy, it's just like, he just doesn't hit that hard. Unless you, like, hit his Berserk button, right? It'd be even more manageable if the AI was smarter and spammed the AoE heal, since we're getting AoE, but... Ah, yeah, what can you do? Once you've solved this damage, isn't this kind of like a meh fight? I've solved the issue where the boss enrages and kills our team and we can't survive it. And now it's kind of just like, well, you, you spam X until you win. Or hack, or whatever it is. Okay, we're losing some of our buffs. I'm gonna wait till uh, one of the defensive buffs starts to run out. Good, he's reset. Never mind. There was a way to do more damage to this boss. He is very tanky, and there's not really. Here, we can see his weaknesses. He doesn't actually have anything he's weak to. And again, we can't over gauge or he enrages, so. We gotta get him to about R before we even consider over gauging him for giggles. 
Now that is R on the target, like on his target. If we get around to his health where he's under R, we might be able to overage him for fun. To push damage. Oh, hello, he's got defense down now. That's new. Thanks. Right? Oh, this is new, this is new. Holy shit, he's putting out new abilities. The boss unironically changed to get new abilities the minute my debuff, my buff starts running out. Oh man, we lost. Okay, so he actually does have a phase two, that's cool. We can't really push him any harder, but he does have a phase two where he's much more dangerous. I wonder if that's permanent or not. Uh, and that wasn't his retaliatory strike, so we might just have to go like full DPS on him there. Kind of wish the fight wasn't so long to get here. Though. If I must die. That was not really the turn I wanted to do, but... Uh, fight was boring, at least. I got I got to eat my words now, because, uh... You know, I was complaining about the fight being boring, and... He instantly spiced it up. Let me tell you, that was uh, pretty spicy. Auto heal, please. It's Kira Kira, not Cure One, and then another turn. Thanks. Am I the only one with time? Oh no, everyone has time. Oh. Everyone has the uh, speed up. Let's go. Peace. So the fight's long. I kind of wish the I had a way to speed the fight up though. Like maybe if you break him in aerial defense mode or something, it doesn't have him transition to his hard mode. That is that like kills you regardless of what you do. Something like that would be cool. Thanks. Like, he doesn't seem to give out a new flag when he transforms into that other mode there. Kinda just seems to randomly do it. Might be a timer. Might be its health bar.
What do you guys think? It might be. Oh shit, that was bad. It might be his, uh. It might be like his third transformation, or it might be his, uh. His health bar that transitions that. We might need to, like, randomly break. Like, randomly overload him. To stop him from transforming into, like, super kill mode or whatever. Or it might just be his transition. We're around the same place we were last time. Shit, I need to transition to defenses. One second. The physical defenses are about to run out. Okay, going again. He's glowing yellow. He's glowing yellow. Does that mean anything? He heals to full health. Okay, I, I want a tanking setup. My own debuffs just wore out. If I could get the magic resist set up, you know the one I, the one of my dreams that I've been waiting for. Thank, magic resist, hope, please. And the reason Fang's not dying is because she's spamming heals. By the way. Our debuffs are running out, so I need to. Our buffs are running out, so I need him to reapply them as soon as they go out. Okay. Looks like we've stabilized. I think we're good. I'm gonna swap back over to a more aggressive setup. I think we got through that stage. This isn't too bad. This is actually very manageable now. I think we might have just gotten, like, caught at the wrong time. The boss is kind of on, hard mo on like, harder mode, but... He takes more damage now. That's a good point. I should check something. One second. I'm actually gonna check something. Can I strip his attack buffs? Is White is uh, Fang able to strip his attack buffs? It looks like Fang can't. Or uh, Fang and Hope should should be able to strip attack buffs, but it looks like they can't. So we're just gonna go back on the healing plant. It looks like he can't strip his uh, buffs, and his buffs seem to be permanent. So. Ooh, that hurt. That hurt. Come on, Hope. Heal us. like his bottom state is actually his more dangerous state now. The top one seems to be pretty good, except for like that aerial strike. Everything else seems to be pretty easy to handle. Just need to watch our buffs. If the shield up and the wizard hat up disappear on someone, we need to swap to a buffing state, a uh, buffing stance. Uh, good news is he's taking 50% more damage, so he's actually way easier to kill now, if you didn't notice. Uh, he's got like defense and magic down. But he's got a he's got aggressive stuff. He's got attack up, attack up, pace up, and I don't actually know what that third one is. Oh top of my head. I know it's something, I think it's like elemental damage up. Which makes sense because he's doing elemental damage. As long as uh well, one second. Yeah, we're gonna just 
just go to something defensive for a second here, try and recover her health. Mostly Fang. If Fang dies, it's really awkward because when someone dies in this game, you have to rebuff everything they have. Which naturally could be a complete disaster here, as she might just get one shot or like kill, take a shit ton of damage while she's getting up. Because this guy has a pretty fast attack speed. And seems to be AoEing most of the time. So like we'd only be able to revive her if if he was flying. Uh, which is a little bit questionable. We'd have to wait a while, it would really slow us down. Still, boss fight is much more interesting now. I I'm less bored now that there's like a real chance I could die once I have my setup going. Yeah, I saw that. We gotta swap one sec. Uh, just do the AoEs, it's always better. Physical resistance is gone, so I need. Yeah. Me being the most competent healer on the team, kind of awkward. Yeah, it's really easy to keep up with when it's not hope healing. Hope is kind of a dumb dumb when it comes to healing people. He kind of likes preferring. He kind of prefers single targets. When it should be AoE heals. Oh shit, we're actually in a bad state here. We're losing defensive buffs, which could go out really badly for us. Hope needs to get me some magic resist. Our debuffs are running out. Our buffs are running out, sorry. Our debuffs won't run out because we they aren't our debuffs. They're on the boss. Alright, looks like he doesn't have a phase 3. You wanna heal? Let me heal myself for your soul, probably. Actually, I think Hope, Hope prioritizes you over other people. Uh, he's not that dumb. But what that does mean is if you're at 90% and two other people are at 95%, he'll be like, I don't need to AoE heal. My AoE heals for 10%? That'd be silly. I could just heal you for 10%. And then waste three tur then waste half a turn on charge up because I mean apart from commando most most specs if you like while you're taking your turn you aren't generating AP right like it just freezes while you're attempting to take your turn so if you if you aren't doing that you're kind of wasting everything okay things in trouble again. Uh, okay, that's annoying. I'm gonna have Fang go into tanking stand again. Assuming she's not dead here. Give it your best shot. <laughs> like, it's so much better to... The AoE heals, we can actually keep up with all the damage they deal if we just spam our AoE heal. If you cast anything else, you actually fall behind. And it's only because Hope uses single target heals on people that we actually have to go save Fang. Like, he's still- you can set, tell. Cure is single target. Cura and Curaja are both single- are both AoE. You can see how he's struggling, right? Instead of everyone being topped off or going upwards, it's uh, one person at a time being healed and then another attack comes out, hitting two people and he gets behind. Oh, he actually meleeed there, did you see that? I didn't notice him do that before. He actually meleeed Fang. That almost killed us, Hope, you fucking donut. 
Like, if I wasn't around to heal us, we would have been fucking dead. Oh my god, did I just get, like, reject- I got no- I got no sold on my freaking uh, heal two turns in a row, that sucks. Uh, it's gonna buy us- that's gonna cost us a bit of time, that's fine. I, I don't think we're getting like 5 stars on this boss anyway. Okay, Hope should be able to manage this for a bit. We might be able to kill this guy before he transitions again, which is why I'm letting Hope take over. Or at least before we go through like a full transition again. If I wasn't worried about retaliatory stance, I would uh, transition to like a full aggression mode. A uh, full aggression setup right now. Like Ravager, 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 Commando. We take so little damage in aerial stance. This should be, this should be the state where we recover. Unfortunately, Pope is kind of bad at his own role. All right, we got him. That was moderately challenging. I feel like it could have gone better. Uh, Maybe if I had a, pr if I was set up to be synergist and healer, it might have been better, but, or if I was like the dedicated healer, it might have been better, but I didn't make a setup for that. And I need to like play spying. If I did that. One of my soldiers. I see. Why are you doing this, Rosh? I mean, haven't you done enough? All to answer the fears of a panicked populace. For a people utterly dependent on the foul sea. It was the only solution I could offer. Even if that solution was a farce. Then, you knew the foul sea were using us? I believed their rule was best for Cocoon's present and future prosperity. But... Seems I misjudged their benevolence. If this is my punishment, I accept it. So, you're just gonna let everything go to hell, is that it? Do they even have the concept of hell in whatever world One this is? Thing remains. This is... This is Psycom Director Rosh. Attention all Psycom and Guardian Core units. Suspend the sea operations. I repeat, suspend the sea operations. All units should focus their efforts on evacuating the civilian population. I do not issue this order as an absolute. You are free to make the choice. Uh, uh, Rosh! Go! You're here to save Cocoon, aren't you? Or was that a farce as well? Stay alive. We'll see you when it's over. All right. All right. He's not dead. That's okay. He seemed, he was a little bit misguided, I think. Uh, ah shit. I'll trust in your humanity, Lissy. The fate of Cocoon is in your hands. This is my end. The end which I have chosen.
Well, Rip Roche. He's all, he only showed up in like three scenes, but I guess he was a decent ad adversary. He's the first boss that actually made me go, are you serious? Or the second boss that made me go, are you serious? The first one, I was just like, ooh, this is a toughie. But the first time we fought him, I was like, how do I get through this guy? All right. Good fight, man. Good fight. I was thinking it would be a boring fight, and then they, they, they changed things up on me. They spiced it up. That was actually a pretty good boss fight. We were, like, pretty close to dying several times. Probably could have ran. If Pope could be full commando, I would have taken him, but oh well. I could, if I wanted to, I could run one of my backliners and stuff. <laughs> the backliners actually have different focuses. Oh, another save point. Okay. Backliners had different focuses that would also work out. Okay. Eden Hall Reliquary, Orphan's Cradle. So are we just going in to fight Bartantilus here? I think I'm thinking that's what we might be heading out to do. Or to fight Eden. Where's the cavalry? If they made it this far, we'll see him soon enough. That's a lot of those guys. I wouldn't want to fight seven at once. They were all seen. Okay, okay, what? What? It looks like we're now in the cyberspace. Did we get teleported to the moon? I'm close to the It feels like I'm close to the to the end, man. Orphan's Cradle. This looks like an endgame area. Oh, the nascent throne. It definitely... Now it's like a double end game area. It's definitely this the end. It. A lot of dreams died to get us here. And we can't let it be for nothing. You said it. It's not just our future we're fighting for. We'll do it for everyone. Thassi rule ends here. Dysley, we're coming for you. Honestly, the, the thing that's most surprising about this game is that the Japanese voice acting is not actually better. Okay. Oh, we've saved three times in a row and had nothing happen other than a cutscene. Alright, I'm gonna look behind us because you never know what random shit they throw out here. It might actually be good for once. Oh, there's actually nothing back here. Alright. Axe of three. Yeah, it looks like they are ramping things up a little bit. Might even be four. Let's see. Four, oh, shit, yeah, that's a tough one. Alright. Give us the buffs before we die, please. Thanks. Oh yeah, these guys have a shit ton of debuffs. Are you seriously, like, double S9? Please get the debuff resist up. Veil, when you have it. Alright. Veil is debuff resist, so he's actually doing a decent job for now. You're gonna squirm. Keep out of this. If we can get spell resist, we'll be good. Alright, spell resist, any minute now, there we go. Now we can do some damage. Alright, let's go. This guy's spell locked and elemental is just down. Let's 
These guys are probably neutral on elements, right? Yeah. I was gonna say, that's why our spells seem to be pretty random. They're neutral on all elements. He did the midday Lily solo against full power Kiara. What level? What do you need for the. What do you actually need for that? I don't have Ideal Holy King. Or any of the uh, bonus max. team wide bonuses that last in death. Do you actually need those though? Because, like. As I recall, you don't need max skills on Mede Lily. It's kind of just like a thing where you have to decide for yourself whether or not to do it, right? He has her max. I saw a video where the person didn't have the max and had her like NP1 and she's her NP1 or two and she still did it. It was like a it was someone with a 444 Midday Lily. Like a 444 NP2 Midday Lily did it, and they obviously didn't have case scopes, so it didn't matter. The question is what CEs you actually need and if it matters. It's like if you just need if you just need the defense up CE, I, I might try that once. Just because it's funny. Like, you can't tell me it's not hilarious to do a Midday Lily solo. Oh yeah, in case you're wondering why Hope is still on the uh, healing side when we're taking like no damage, he's also cleansing debuffs. Like you saw the debuff on Lightning disappeared immediately. That's Hope. Making sure that the... it doesn't matter. Ah oh, shoot, we have to change back. Alright. Alright, yeah, you don't often have a chance to do a solo with her. May as well take advantage of the opportunity. I'm just wait making sure uh, Hope gets out all the debuff resist. Alright, here we go. Turn the tide. Back to play. On your knees. Now there's only two we might be able to get away with full attack. Let's go. His Midday is Grail? Is it? You don't need a Grail Midday Lily to do it. It's probably a health threshold that you need to hit. He might be compensating with Grails. I'm not sure. Because the first vid I saw where it happened was just uh, our non-grailed Medela. Because I was like, I might be able to do that, but I don't have the CEs and I don't know if they're important because I don't recognize them off the top of my head. Other than like a dual ideal Holy King, which is plus a thousand health for your whole team. Yeah, so it might be a health threshold or he might like her, I don't know. That's cool. Apparent. So rating is... Not by damage taken, but by time. Apparently that was one of the fastest ways to kill that pack. Alright. Alright, Gabe. That was apparently fast. Are you kidding? Oh, there were three on this side. So I... Oh, whatever. MP5. It's Toho. Of course it's MP5. I'm just sitting here going, man, these guys making me... Can I get my debuff of this? There we go. Okay. These, these pisky guys making me look like a chump here. Oh shit, it actually hurt. But that's why we're running like as much... That's why we're running defenses, right, Hope? Hope's a little bit busy to, to, to give us defenses, but if you re it sure would be nice if we weren't in danger of dying to a single spell. I'm just saying, Hope. You don't have to do anything, but it would be nice to not be in danger of dying from a single ability. Thank you. 
Okay. One more. Can you get a shell off, Hope? There we go. Let's wrap this up. We wanted shell specifically for uh, Fang. Fang put a shit ton of debuffs on these guys. They are melting. Look at that shit, man. We're, look at this guy. His health is evaporating. What the heck? Fang, you absolute monster. Look at those debuffs. Dang, that's good. Alright. I'll just shortcut that turn. We don't need to max that our attack. He's gonna die anyway. He died before we even got an attack off. Alright. Synergist is good, everyone. You just gotta be able to use the uh, Saboteur debuffs, too. If you wanna do real damage. Okay. We got probably a few rooms before the boss, right? I imagine it's not just one room. So this is like an elite guard. Yeah, there's two of them. Three? Three portals? Two portals. Okay. That that looks like a gate to Grand Pulse. The last gift from our Tantalus. We're gonna run away. Now's our chance. So, guys, which way we going? Just follow your instincts. The plot says go this way, but I kind of want to run through this portal and see what it says. Most disruptive savager team is Zoss Fang Peniel. I can see that. Where's this take me? I literally can't find out. There's no action button. I can't press anything. So I guess we're not going there. I guess I was thinking these would be portals to previous areas or something you had to like go get an item or MacGuffin from. But if we can't actually use the portals... Oh, we can in fact warp that one. That leads to the underground facility or the city outside? Alright. We can't use that one then. It's just that one we can't use. Right? It's not a bug. There's The portal seems inactive, so I'm guessing we can't take it. Yeah, alright. Definitely just that one. So, onwards we go. No respawns? Good shit, good shit. Most destructive save to Thos Fang Peniel. Yeah, that would work out pretty well. Especially early game. Especially early game, because Zoss starts out with his attack. He starts out with attack buffs. Unlike Hope, who has to be like about as far as we are right now to get attack buffs. All right. Damn it. Oh, I was thinking we'd have to fight this guy. Never mind. Fight this guy or take a portal with him. All right. Oh, uh, bye guys. 
Guess I'm doing this shit solo. I was expecting biomechanical, but they looked they looked like fish with leg with legs and wings. Yeah, but they look like mackerel with fish and legs. Good to know what you think so too. Kinda awkward sometimes when you see something and other people don't. You gotta like convince them it's real. Alright. Still got magic to go. There's a magic note over there, I think. That's strength mode up. Oh. A cheap strength node and a cheap health node. We're focusing magic, of course, because she's better at magic than she is physical. Just kind of why I like pairing her with Fang, as Fang does the opposite pretty well. So we get both covered with a specialist when we can't afford the stats. I don't even like Sentinel. Oh shit, I didn't even realize we didn't have this. My bad. Should have been spending points in Commando. Oh well. I missed out on a Commando ability. That's my bad. We can aim for last resort. I think it might be a 
technique rather than an ability though. Oh, well, right AP. Alright. So I kind of screwed up with Fang. Probably should have spent that uh, XP on Commando first. I didn't realize I was missing one ability. Fish with legs in real life would be a huge what the fuck moment. Like, seriously? On your knees. That'd be fucking weird. Hopefully we got at least some buffs going off. Hope. Oh, he was napping. Never mind. Oh, these guys actually have a decent amount of points. Thanks. Fortunately, Hope didn't get a lot of buffs off. As long as we can knock one of these up, it shouldn't be too bad. No! 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 Okay, we killed him. I was gonna say knocking him up would be fine, but hey, this works too. Oh, wake the fuck up! Heal people! He's dead, rip. Okay. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Taunt, please. Please tell me her taunt actually works. It did. We have debuff resist. We don't have defense, but we have debuff resist, and one of the guys is dead, so we should be fairly stable. Although, next time I fight a pack of these three, I'm probably gonna stay center just for a little bit longer. Possibly use fully configuration to keep our team alive, as these guys are susceptible to taunt. They aren't like hitting the whole team at once, you know? So you can actually control their area. Thanks for hanging out, Jacob. Yeah, you too, man. Have a great night. We probably won't be getting too far in case you're too much further tonight. In case you're wondering. Yeah. See you. See you around next time. Do it with grinding. I like the challenge though, man. It's fun. If you're never struggling, it's never fun. If you're never struggling, it gets kind of boring. I'll consider doing some grinding though. If we do another one of these. Might be fun just to find out how easy the game can really get. If we go up this way. I think up's going to be a side path, so we're going to go that way. I can't tell if I'm right or not. Thank you. 
<laughs> All right, good night, man. Game tells me to go back down the stairs, so that means this is definitely a side path. And there's an item up there, alright. Not, not too difficult. Once you get the hang of those guys, they can drop pretty fast since they have no debuff resistance. You can really clear through them in a quick minute if you need to. Alright, this should be a dead end with an item and so should the left fork there. Since the main objective is in a different direction. Air resistance, okay. One thing I would like to see in this game is more interesting items. A lot of the items in this game are fairly basic. They're like fairly basic, just plus attack, plus defense, plus resistance. Uh, nothing too crazy. I'd kind of like to see something like uh, a legendary item, like even like something from Diablo. Or like an item that specifically empowers a specific attack or something like that. Anything to spice up these attacks, as they're kind of... Or anything to change your gameplay. There's no real items that do that. Kind of uh, notable when you don't have any items that change gameplay in the game. Thank you. 
Fine, we're going on the offensive like you wanted, Hope. You better not die. like he's not dying, so I guess he's holding up his end of the bargain. Actually, that went pretty well. Alright. Good job, Hope. Good job. Demonic Spear. I doubt Fang will be replacing her item, but we'll look anyway. Boosts magic power, don't care. Her abilities are almost all melee anyway. And the staff she currently has isn't a DPS staff, it's actually a debuff resistance down staff. Or a buff resistance. Yeah, debuff resistance down for the enemies. Basically means you can lay in more debuffs. Which I feel is probably the best role for her as a solid debuffer. Tank and then commando is like her last step. Uh, 15,000. We needed like 30,000, I think, to get Fang her commando thing, right? Yeah, we're a little bit out. We're about 36 minus 10, so 26k out. We'll talk to this guy. Another puzzle room opens. I assume. I assume he opens another section and we have to fight our way through it. It opens down, okay. Time is it? And yet a third section, okay. So we have to keep going to meet this guy, and he's gonna eventually take us either to like one of the it ends destroyed. or open a portal. Alright. Alright, guys. As fun as it's been. I think I'm going to end things here, as it's getting a little bit late for me. And while my voice is recovering, it hasn't 100% recovered, and I'd rather not have to cut a stream short to like two hours. So I'm going to end things here. Thanks for hanging out, guys. We'll finish whatever this is and run into presumably what is the end boss on Wednesday. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Have a great night, and I'll see you guys next time. Tomorrow, as I said, will be Heaven's Feel and some more Grand Order, and Wednesday we'll hopefully get back to this. Thanks for hanging out. Good night.